I'll bring the wine, you bring the glasses. What a great time we'll have while it lasts us. I can't wait to toast with you, so call me a cab. Hi, I'm Joanne, and this is Call Me a Cab, a show about tasting wine without intimidation. Today on the show, I will be tasting just a glass of wine paired with cheese based on suggestions from the internet. So without any further ado, let's get started. So today on the show, I will be trying the Gordon Estates Kayak Cabernet Sauvignon. It is 100% Cabernet from the Columbia Valley in Washington. It is aged in 80% French oak and 20% American neutral oak. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm very excited to have a 100% Cabernet. I feel like most of the wines I drink tend to be mostly something with a little bit of something else. I don't know that I've ever had a 100% Cabernet. It says right on the label, estate grown. When I look at a lot of wines, they tend to be from all over. So I feel like this is a single source, single grape, we're gonna go ahead and taste that and we get to pair it today with a Roquefort cheese and then something called a Chimay Autumn cheese. Now the world of the internet did not tell me to pair this with this. This was something that was available at my Trader Joe's and so I picked it up. Let's get this bad boy opened. Here we go. Now we'll give it a little swirl. It's pretty. I got a piece of cork in my wine. I don't know what y'all do when you get cork in your wine. I go for it, try to get it out. It's a lost cause. Okay, so from the looks of it, it's a nice, it's literally a really good match with this grape right here. Kind of light like a Pinot, which is weird for a cab, but it's 100% cab. I've never had 100% cab before. All right, let's see the smell. See the smell? Smell the smell. Let's experience the smell. When people used to say they could smell oak, I never knew what that was. And maybe it's just because I haven't gone around smelling enough wood, but I, there is a smell that I smell a lot in wines I think it might be oak, which makes sense. So I assume that's what I'm smelling. And in fact, if I think about like a barn or something. Hopefully it doesn't taste like a barn. <laughs> Have you tasted a barn? They're delicious. That is the one prevalent smell. It's this, it's a very strong smell that before I wouldn't be able to put my finger on. And I think that's the oak smell. And maybe some grass in it, like, yeah, like a farm, like, like a new farm. <laughs> like you just got this farm. There's grass and there's wood, but all the animals haven't pooped all over. It smells like it smells, and it doesn't smell offensive to me in any way. So let's see what it does on the palate. Oh, okay, that's interesting. It's like just mildly tart, which I'm not usually a fan of in red wine, but it goes away right away. It has virtually no finish, which I love that in a wine. I do like the wine. I'm going to say, I don't know if this flavor translates to anybody else. It makes sense when I say it to me, what I think it means, inky. Do you remember when you used to smell those magic markers when we were kids? Not that I did, because that would be so wrong, but you know the ones. Those ones that were in like the metal case that you made like posters with. <sighs> okay. Anyway, that. Whatever that smell induced in my little child brain is the same thing that this wine does in my adult brain. It invokes that, whatever that was, that was joyous. I did really like the way those markers smelled. And this doesn't smell like those markers, but if this makes sense, it tastes like I imagined those markers would taste. And maybe like a little butter, like a little butter, a little inkiness, a little, um, a little flim flam. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna start with the Roquefort. I feel like Roquefort is a very strong cheese and that might be the wrong way to start because I've been trying to start with the lesser of the cheeses, but the other one was so stinky when we opened it up, I think it might be a lot. So I'm gonna start with this one, even though I think it might be a lot as well. Wish me luck. All right. That's delicious. Oh, that's delicious. You know what, it's like a mild blue cheese. For those of you who've had Roquefort before, you're probably like, duh. I don't think I have. But it's funny because I love blue cheese, but I always take blue cheese in really tiny amounts because it's so intense. And that one I feel like I can take more of. So let me give the wine a whirl after that. Well, it's not bad, but it took a lot of the flavor away from the wine. I, I shouldn't say it took the flavor away. It made it milder. It took it down kind of a lot, which isn't necessarily bad because like I said, it was inky before. I, I'm okay with that, Perry. Like, especially if you're doing a whole meal, 
and you're doing food and this, and I have, oh, you know what this would be great with? Like a wedge salad. Mm. Yep, yep, mm-hmm, yes. Oh, and you know what it did? It brought out like a pepperiness in the, in the Cabernet. There's like, it feels like there's green peppers in this now. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Okay, the funny thing is, don't like green peppers in real life. Love the flavor of them in my wine. Okay. So moving on, this next cheese was literally called Chimay Autumn Cheese. You know how everybody comes out with like a fall thing? Now I'm a big basic fall girl. I like my pumpkin spice and my sweaters and all that garbage and pumpkin pie. Oh my God, pretty much anything pumpkin. I know, it's so clearly obvious. Pumpkin's delicious. Well, yeah, but some people think if you like pumpkins in the fall, then you're being really basic. Here's my thing, be authentic to who you are. And I am authentic to the fact that I have about one pumpkin spice latte a year and it's amazing every time, every time. This is a Chimay cow's milk cheese. I don't know what else is in it. I guess I could read the label, but where's the adventure in that? So, okay, it doesn't smell as bad now that it's been out aerating a little bit. It smells like, okay, it smells like if you put your eraser, like those pink erasers in. Your mouth? Well, what does your mouth smell like, bro? God. Mostly it smells like erasers. Oh, that's what it is. When you like used to work in pencil, I, do kids today even work in pencil? So back when I was a child, we had pencils. Pencils had this eraser thing on the end and you would have to do your math homework in a pencil because you were constantly getting things wrong. And then you turn the eraser over, or the pencil over to the eraser side, erase, erase, erase. And there's something about the smell between an eraser and a paper and all that like funk that comes up that you have to then go psh, 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 off your page. This is that. Okay, so we got the magic markers and the eraser. So this is basically like if fifth graders could get drunk. So I'm gonna eat this. I'm very frightened. I'm sorry I'm talking so much. I think I'm just wasting time to, jeez, here goes, here goes, here goes, I can do it. That is the mildest, butteriest, like it's nothing. This is not offensive at all. And I'm eating the rind and everything. This is fine. This is, why do you smell like that? It's so good. I'm standing right here. <laughs> it has like the teeniest, tiniest little bit of a, of a strong cheese, like the teeniest, tiniest. And the rest is just like a good buttery, creamy, soft. Why do you smell like that? All right, let's see what happens. Okay, that cheese makes this fruitier. This suddenly has like berry notes, like a lot of berry notes, like blackberry, raspberry. Wow, wow. If you're the person that likes a fruity jammy kind of, I would say more fruity than jammy, if that breakdown makes sense to you. I can't believe that cheese tastes as good as it does because it smelled awful. But it made this taste really fruity and nice. I'm not generally a fruit forward person, and maybe this is the difference of 100% Cabernet. It's not sweet fruits, it's like a real fruit. I feel like I'm tasting like real blackberries, raspberries, and grapes for goodness sake. Well done, Kayak. I like it. And in closing, I would like to make a toast. In honor of this 100% Cabernet Sauvignon, I would like to encourage you to be 100% you, whoever that is. I'm trying every day to be 100% who I am. And it's freakishly more challenging than it should be. But here's to us. Cheers. But I'm a bad person. Then be 100% that bad person, babe. 100%. I can't wait to toast with you, so call me a cat.